Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Yolanda the Crochet Addict. So we are here for my morning routine. Well, kind of, if I have makeup before then. So I wash my face. And now I'm going to make sure I wipe everything off with... Uh, makeup wipe to make sure that my face is super clean before I apply my moisturizer. How are y'all doing? Mm, my first client comes at 10 o'clock, so I have time to uh, make a video so that we can chit chat. A lot of you comment and tell me like about your life, like what you're up to, uh, what doggies you have. I love it. I kind of wish <laughs> when I read those comments, I'm literally going like, oh, I got to tell this. And then I remember that it's a giveaway video and I don't want to intervene at all with my, my replies and stuff. So I'm like, no, I can't reply. So I was thinking maybe I should make one video where um, where I just read some comments and, you know, and answer them. Or just say what I want to say, you know. So, I'm still sleepy, so, yeah. Oh, Jelani just gave me my shot of medications. <laughs> he was being so funny. I, I wouldn't call this prepped, but I put my phone here on the dresser and... I told Jelani, I said, oh no, I, I was like, okay, I'm going to film. And then Jelani comes in with the, what do you call it, EpiPen that has my uh, medications in. He comes in and he's like, oh, you continue on. And I turn off the camera and Jelani presses play and he's like, well, this is uh, Yolanda's morning routine. Uh, where she panics and panics some more. Then you can hear her breathing with a little screaming. Um, it's not like I sit here, I lay down because a lot of times I uh, pass out because of the needle. Like I don't pass out unless I'm sitting up and stuff. If I'm laying down, I'll feel just extremely weak. And then um, once it's done, uh, it takes me about, it used to take me like half an hour, not half an hour, like 20 minutes to get my mind state back to normal after the medication. But now it takes me like sometimes five, sometimes 10 minutes. Usually it takes five minutes unless Jelani uh, torments me uh, by talking in detail about the needle. <laughs> then I'm just out for a while. So I'll be like very... If, you, if any of you are afraid, like deadly afraid of needles, you understand what I mean when I say like, yeah... It's not fun. I'm not saying needles are fun, but you know, my grown woman, I, uh, I'm an adult. Like, why can't I just you no know, suck it up? I, I just came to the conclusion that I will never be okay with needles. I hope I'm never in my life where uh, I need to give myself any kind of shots. Because death would come. I would not be able. Like, honestly, I would not be able to do it. 
um, whenever I see a needle, my, my hands lose, um, uh, a grip, like, I can't move my fingers anymore, so anything that I'm holding, it just drops, and, anyways, I feel like I'm blabbling too much, maybe I should skip a lot of this, five minutes of watching me do my I already washed my face I washed my teeth it just I want to make sure that I got all the any kind of makeup residue that may have left from last night oh, and now my moisturizer I used to be subscribed to boxycharm I canceled it because it just sent too many eyeshadows and I just have enough makeup I don't need more and the makeup that I use is still mostly not from what they give me but I do enjoy trying out different uh, masks and um, moisturizers that they sent out My eyebrow area is always the driest one. If you guys are still listening to me, I don't know. Um, see, I can watch the YouTubers that I follow doing their morning routines and talking about things while they clean their face and do their makeup. Like, I could watch them all the time. And I'm like, it's me. Anyways. So what am I using? Oh, so if you guys have dry skin, is it the whole face or there's just parts of it? Before I became diabetic, just last year after COVID, um, my skin used to be always oily. That was my problem. But now it's dry. Majority of my face is dry, but... Like, above eyebrows, and these spots, just two little spots here, and above eyebrows. Like, literally just about, about eyebrow. It's so, so dry that it's always so red. I got moisturizer on. Okay, I will see you back in the crochet room. Gotta brush my hair. Um, make my tea and I will see you back in the crochet room because I have something to show you that I've been working on. See you in a minute. Hey guys, welcome back to a Vlogmas Day 17, which I forgot to say this morning. It's still morning. Um, I just made my breakfast. Uh, I just ate my banana. Before I eat anything else, I like to in the morning eat my banana, drink lots of water. And so for my breakfast, I made me hummus on nine grain wheat bread. Usually I do not eat bread. I try to avoid it as much as I can, even though I love bread. Um, so instead of bread, usually I use rice crispy no rice cakes there we go <clears throat> um it's made by the company called uh quaker oats um so i usually use that for bread and i have some applesauce um, and almost done with my bottle of water how are you guys any plans for today, you guys? Any plans at all? I bet a lot of you are working. Oh, which brings me back to realization I am working today too. I have, how much time do I have before I have to go to work? An hour and two minutes. My first client comes in an hour and two minutes. Anyways, so... I want to show you a blanket that I've been working on. 
for those who um, have not seen my previous videos. I'm so sorry. I could not be an actress. For some reason, talking makes me yawn. I heard that it has something to do with uh, not breathing properly as you speak or not controlling not controlling your breathing as you speak the right way or something like that anyways so if you did not watch my previous video um i have been watching the youtubers who exchange their scrap yarns with each other they make 30 small balls of their scrap yarn and ship it to each other and then every day they crochet one square i'm pretty sure you guys have seen those youtubers so i really wanted to do that but um you know i'm i'm just a small vlogger that vlogs her yarn love <laughs> and uh, i just i was gone for so long and now I came back just recently, so I really don't have anyone to exchange scraps with. So I I don't know any other you uh, vloggers, yarn vloggers. <sighs> speak, woman, speak. <laughs> My tongue is still asleep, I think. But I really wanted to do a project this month where somebody else was picking my yarn my scrap yarn so i was like honey honey can you please um pick colors so we had to pick a bunch of scrap yarns at once so i had to pick a bunch of scrap yarns at once because i needed to catch up i'm still behind i have 14 squares done so i'm three behind so i will show you Um, oh. so I have so I started to join as I go so I don't have all these squares later to join yesterday I was too out tired so I went to bed so I'm working oh my goodness so sorry So I'm starting to join this one to somewhere. So kind of, I really, I never thought I would like a white color that much in yarn. Like my yarn color, my whites don't get used as much. I'm more of a black person. I love my black yarn. But I think I need to start using white yarn to border things because it looks, it pops. So it's really pretty. It's a little bit dark in here probably. It's very gloomy and rainy outside. So there's one square. Then this square. And a lot of these squares that he picked are cakes jazz or jazz cakes from Ice Yarns. I got them actually as a sale lot, which they didn't say what yarn it was. They didn't say nothing about it. It was just leftovers that they were selling and it was 2,000 grams of leftover of this yarn. They had it all in these small balls. Do I have an example? Yes, I do right here so it's already used up a little bit it was a little bit bigger so they have 2,000 grams of like a bunch of these balls in a pack and I paid was it $24.99 I think it was $24.99 for 2,000 grams so uh, I got it for a steal because their yarn has doubled in prices it's a very it's pretty expensive now um if you unless you order a lot then the shipping goes down for the holiday sales look how pretty so yeah so i got lucky because i know that one jazz cakes is 6.99 for one cake 
And that is 100 grams, I believe. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I yawn so much when I talk on camera. I don't know why. So, I got really lucky with that yarn. Anyways, this is Picasso leftover that Jelani found. This is another square. Another square. That's uh, also Cakes Jazz. Cakes Jazz. This is some other leftover yarn. Oh, that's soft. I don't know what yarn this is, but it's soft. So, here you go. So, that's what's going on with my um, leftover yarn. Excuse me, I need some water. So I've been doing really good with my eating. Oh, uh, not really. Okay, I've been eating way better than I used to. Let's put it that way. Um, I tried to watch out what I eat. Um, I'm slowly getting my eating habits into way better habits picking better foods so once a week I do so what I'm doing now once a week I do go to Chinese buffet because I love that food and living in Indiana and now not having a car for three months I finally got it and just living in Indiana where I live I live in a very small town that doesn't have any junk food places around. I, it takes like 25 minutes to get to any junk food place. It's not convenient anymore, so I'm no longer addicted to junk food. Um, but I want to start working out. And I'm going to start doing that after New Year's. I'm going to do... I'm going to try do... I'm going to do my best... Uh, for 365 days for a whole year to meet my step goal, which would be I'm still debating if to do 6,000 steps or 10,000 steps a day, but I think I'm gonna do the 6,000 steps a day And then I have to do the math. There's a year goal how many steps I want to do And then slowly incorporate other workouts because I noticed if I jump in deep dive in with would it be a diet or working out routines it falls pretty quick so i'm trying to make habits if that makes i'm trying to build the habits uh rather than jump in full force so let's see oh I did, so for the longest time, I had BoxyCharm subscription. If you guys don't know, it's a makeup, makeup, and they sent you uh, skin products for a while. I had it for a while. I had it um, on hold for a while, and then I went back to it. So I discontinued my membership this month. Um, so, because I joined Krista, the crochet, um, Krista's Secret Yarnery family membership. I joined, I think it's a $25 one. Um, so I did that, and for that, I just gave up this. Because, honestly, I have enough... The makeup that they give you, I don't usually use. The only makeup that I use from this is some shadows, some eyeshadows. Um, usually they're not pigmented enough. But anyways, and I do use skin products. Um, I'm lucky my skin usually doesn't break out over nothing. So anyways, so this is my last boxy charm. This is for, was it December edition or November? I have a feeling I'm supposed to get the December box too. I believe it's a December one. I just have too much makeup, so 
I wish they gave more uh, makeup products versus, not makeup products, skin products versus makeup. Let's see. Finally, I get an eyeshadow that I actually would enjoy. It's called the Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Palette. Palette. Oh, that's in Spanish. Okay. So it comes in this box. It's a very nice uh, box. And I know they typically have a paper that tells you how much it all is. Okay, there we go. So once you open the box, you get this card. Okay, so this eyeshadow box is worth $30. It has nine shades. We will see. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. That's actually pretty. Now I'm all of a sudden thinking, mm, maybe I want to subscribe. It's really pretty. It's heavy too. It doesn't feel cheap. The company is Tarte, so I don't know if it's expensive or not company. On the sheet it says $30, that's how much it's worth. Mm, come on, there we go. Ooh, I like the mirror. Mirror. These are pretty colors. Do you see these? Oh, and they're pigmented. What? Okay, one of them is not. This one is pigmented. 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 Um, so there's like three colors that are not pigmented, but the rest of them are. Uh, this will be my definitely go-to eyeshadow. I was running out of my bron uh, bronze colors and browns, so I'm excited about this one. It's been a while since I was excited about the makeup that they sent me. What's next? I don't know what that is. Natasha Denona Cupid Cheek Duo. Oh, I don't use blush. This is going to be a blush. Ooh, are you pretty? Look at this color. Oh my gosh. Look at this color. It is a pretty color, though. That is a very pretty color. Okay. Oh, I might have, I may be able to use it. That's, okay, so. This color is very creamy. This color is powder based. So I like that. Also very heavy type. Maybe they have their game. How much is this one? Uh, it is worth $42. So subscription that I, subscription that I paid for, I believe was $24.95. So $25. So technically one product alone pays for this box. What is this? Clean AF. Oh, the one truly clean mascara that does it all volumizes, defines, lengths, lifts, and wears all day. Are you all that? Are you all that? Because I have a hard time finding any mascara that's nice for my eyelashes. You know what? Let's try you. How much is this mascara? 
Uh, that is $25. So if you went to their website, this would be $25. I'm going to try and see if I see anything happening on my eyelashes. I have very short eyelashes. So, this is what I got. Ooh. <gasps> okay. Boxycharm, what are you doing? So. I don't know my, why my eye looks so dark. You have dark circles or just lighting. Put some more. It's actually putting length into my eyelashes. I like it. Look at that. I really like it. I have very short eyelashes, so it's not going to be like, bam. I have extremely short eyelashes. It definitely lengthened my eyelashes because I can see my eyelashes now. On this side, I don't see any eyelash hair at all. Done. Did BoxyCharm know that I was going to unsubscribe from them? So they sent me stuff that I actually like, the colors that I like. Oh, that's nice. Now I just need eyebrows. A lot of times I can get away with just a mascara and uh, oh no, what is going on? Now I just need eyebrows. Okay, I am impressed. Like I said, I never have <laughs> eyelash. It actually, and it's nice. It's a nice consistency. It's actually not dried out and it's nice. I like that. I like that it's actually working. Okay, let's see what's next. What's next? What's next? I gotta hurry up. Juicy lip. Mm. It's, I'm not going to even try to pronounce this. Juicy lip. What are you? Oh, it's a lip balm. Okay, so I will be using it. Because I don't really use pencils that they send. I don't do lip pencils. And it's worth $21. Okay, so it has... Uh, it's a vegan balm, gloss, color, and treatment. Features 10 plus antioxidants, rich fruits to smooth and nourish while the cushion comfort complex instantly plumps and smooths the appearance of pesky lip lines. I don't have pesky lip lines. Excuse me, box charm. <sighs> this meter shine formula is always comfortable, never sticky, and smells like coconut. Ooh, I love coconut. I do love coconut. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And also, even though it's plastic here, it doesn't feel like too of a cheap of a plastic. Oh. I need a meter. There we go. Um, how do you work? Oh, it's like a pen. Hmm. 
Okay, so it's like a pen. You keep pushing this button and it pops out. And my lips are dry like my skin. Okay. Boxy Charm, what are you doing? These are actually very nice products this time. This is first Boxy Charm ever that I'm pretty much excited about every product. Like, not just excited, but like, oh, I will use this. Like the blush. I usually, like, have only one blush, like a bronzer to contour. But actually, I will use the blush because it looks really pretty and the highlighter. It is sticky. It doesn't feel sticky. If I don't do that, it feels very nice on the lips and super moisturizing. I love that. They're no longer, my lips are no longer feeling tight. Really like that. If you're looking for a lip balm, I would recommend this. It's really feeling nice. It's called Mara. M-A-R-A-C-U-J-A -A -A, Juicy Lip I really would recommend this I'm usually Not Vegan product fan Because they do try to You know, do their best By their belief system And make products that fits That works with their belief system But uh, usually their products sadly are a fail especially shampoos i did give it a try and i used some of this very expensive shampoo that was vegan just because they said it's supposed to nourish my hair oh my god it was awful um i tried a lot of vegan stuff and i was like mm, not worth the money like honestly not worth the money this is worth 21 dollars worth it i would i would never usually pay more than nine dollars for a lipstick no more than probably six dollars for a lip gloss um or um i mean a lip balm definitely would pay 21 dollars for this i'm actually glad they sent me this i will be using this all the time i really like it okay it is very nice what are you? Okay. Lover East Side. Not sure what this is. Let me read the card because I don't know what this is. What are you? Les Beauty Cream Bronzer. Oh, okay, it's $18. It's a cream bronzer. I do use bronzers. Okay. It's nice consistency. Okay, I like it. I like this one a lot. I never used cream bronzer before, but uh, literally every product that I got, I will be using. Because a lot of products I usually end up giving away to my, um, sending it to my um, sister's daughter, my niece. Because I just don't like the stuff that they've been sending me love every product that they gave me five products and they're full of size they're not test sizes i'm kind of down that they didn't send me any um skin product just makeup but i like it that's it guys uh i will see you later tonight when i'm off work and it's time for the giveaway you guys have a good day. I hope you enjoyed spending a little time with me and chit-chatting. Let me know if you do any subscription boxes for anything. I know some people do for food. Do you do any of them? And how do you like it? What are your opinions of subscription boxes? And if you don't do any subscription boxes, have you ever been tempted? Like I said, it's not just makeup. There's for everything, for your dogs, for food. So I'm curious if other people have tried
the subscription boxes. I mean, any of you have tried it. And your thoughts. Okay, I'll see you guys in the evening. Bye.